Hello, this is Hello from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to a new add-on called Instamist. Uh, I'm sorry if I kind of slurred my speech there. I'm just really tired. haven't slept in like three or four days now. But let's get back to the tutorial. Now, Instamist, it's uh, an add-on that's really simple, really straightforward, and it helps you create mist in Blender really, really easily. I'm going to open up this scene here. I've got Suzanne, different colors, uh, in three rows. So just give you an idea of, of the uh, depth of perception when it comes to the mist. And I'll leave a link of the add-on in the description below this video. And once you go to that person's page to the link, you'll see, let me pull this up. This is uh, the page, uh, Dark Fall. You just scroll down. Is that Dark Fall? Is that his name? Yeah, Dark Fall. Scroll down and you click on uh, here. And once you click on that link there, it'll take you to this page. And once this page opens up, just click on download. I know it's not the conventional looking page when it comes to downloading uh, an add-on, but just click on this uh, download button. Once it's on your computer, you know you install it the regular way. Go to the file or edit, preferences. Install and then navigate where you installed it on your computer and click on install add-on and once you've done that Put a check box or a check in the box uh, for the add-on and just activate it in blender and This enables you to create mist or fog in your scene very quickly very easily just click on this button Now this is for 2.9 and above I've tried it in 2.8 and it seems to work the times I've tried it but it's made for 2.9 and above. Let's click on Enable and Disable Mist. And once you've done that, you can set the parameters for the start of the mist and the depth of your mist. And the depth of it is indicated by this line here. Now, let me scroll, let me hold down Shift, middle mouse button, and scroll up. And this points on the line from your camera. This is where the, the, your mist starts. Let's drag this over a little bit. I'm holding now shift and uh, middle mouse buttoning my uh, scene to scan or pan around. And this dot at the end is the end of your mist. You can change the um, distance, the start and the depth with these parameters here. And the kinds of fall you can have is quadratic, linear, and inverse quadratic. Now let's make this a little bit, uh, make the depth a little bit more. We're going to hover our mouse over the... Uh, this parameter here hold down the left mouse button we're just going to drag and as we do our as we drag our mouse you can see the depth is increasing and it's also indicated by this uh, white spot here this white dot here to show us how far in the the, mit, the the fog or the mist is going to be and then once we've done that you can press F12 on your keyboard to see how it looks and there it is and we want to see it in this viewport here in the compositor and to go to your compositor you just click on the icon and navigate to compositor because this is where you can set more uh, changes to the mist now we're going to scroll up on our mouse wheel to increase the uh, view of our uh, node system here and to change the um, view of your image and just in case you're wondering how to get this image in the background, once you press F12, if you don't see anything come up in the background, uh, press backdrop and it'll show up in the background. You can press V to zoom out and Alt V, that's V as in violin, not B as in boy, but the V as in violin, Alt V to zoom in. And then hold your middle mouse button, hold Alt and middle mouse button to pan around. So you can. Uh, like I said prior, you can set more changes to your mist using the uh, node system here. Now this, this is kind of tricky in the compositor of Blender when it comes to navigating around the scene. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of, if you're not used to it, it's kind of annoying. But once you get used to it, it's not that bad. To uh, pan around your node system, hold down your middle mouse button and pan around like this. Scroll up to zoom in and scroll down to zoom out. Do the same thing with your image in the background. Hold down V or press V to, to zoom out. 
and Alt V to zoom in, and then Alt and middle mouse button to pan around. So now we, we just want to uh, mess with our note system here. So we're going to scroll up on our mouse here, hold on our middle mouse button, and move around. Let's click on that note to drag it to the side here. Now you can uh, change the color of your mist by selecting this parameter here. Click left click on that. You can choose red. Let me see. Or is this working? Blue. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working for some reason. That is kind of strange. When I played with this earlier, it was working fine. So I don't know what's going on with it now. Because usually when you change the uh, this parameter here, it turns the mist to the color that you've chosen. But it's not doing it now. Let's let's mess with this parameter. Let's see what this does. Let's click on that and pull this up and pull it down. I think what we ha what it's tr wanting us to do for some reason is to refresh it by pressing F12 again to apply those changes that we've just implemented. So let's press F12, which we shouldn't have to do, but apparently that's what it's wanting us to do, F12. And there it is, pink. This is supposed to be like with Blender. I don't know if it's a bug or what it is, but once you change the parameters, on your note system it should affect you should get a live preview of what's going on in in your uh, blender scene by your background but it's it's not doing it I don't know why but let's turn it this to blue click on that F12 again let's see what the results of that and it makes it blue and let's uh, mess with the I guess the thickness of the mist let's click on that and pull this up F12 again and it makes it a little bit darker or actually a little bit lighter which is good let's press on that again let's pull this down let's see what that does F12 again and it makes it a little bit dark you can see the uh, the Suzanne's in the background there it's been pretty much almost outlined you can see more definition in the face of the of the Suzanne model which is pretty cool looking to me it's pretty nice so yeah so besides the fact that it's not updating as we make our changes which is what it's supposed to do besides that this add-on is really really good it's really simple straightforward it saves you a ton of time trying to set up the mist passes yourself because it does it instantly. Once again, it's for Blender 2.9 and above, not for 2.8. It kind of works in 2.8, but not that well. And 2.9, it works like it's supposed to. Once again, this is the Blender Quick Tip from uh, Tola from Trifle Productions. And thank you guys who have subscribed and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.